Previously on Slightly Inebriated Souls. I just broke my glass. You broke the Jim Duggan glass. Now on Slightly Inebriated. Ho, 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 ho. Hello, everyone. Welcome to CGN. It's a very sad day. For those of you who don't know, can't do it, Kev. Can't do it. I killed him. I fucking killed him. Jim Duggan's dead. God damn it. To Jim Duggan. To Jim fucking Duggan. Welcome to CGN. A place where sad things happen. Today. I'm playing a Dark Souls series. What's the point, anyway? It's called Slightly Inebriated Souls. There are four rules. Four rules for death. Death. Kevin died. Jim Duggan died. I don't know what to do. Rule number one. Rule number one is leveling is random. Kevin, leveling's random. She doesn't know what to do with her life. None of us know what to do with our lives. Rule number two, she doesn't know how to light a fire. So we can only rest at bonfires with bonfire keepers. They're already lit. Rule number three, she doesn't like to consider herself an alcoholic. So we have to drink with her. Her being Kesha. And rule number four, whenever she dies, that's inevitable. We must drink to commemorate her. Usually we start every episode with hell, but Jim Duggan is dead. And by Jim Duggan, I mean the Jim Duggan glass. I don't know what to do anymore. I cannot be trusted with cups. I've been left with a plastic one. So, to celebrate Jim Duggan's life, we're gonna go fuck up an orange scene smell. Woo! Woo! For Jim Duggan! Just oh, the night that Jim day. Duggan died. It's uh, the night I'll never forget. The boys and me got loaded drunk and we've been sober, sober yes. So the bottle was passed around, everyone was feeling gay. Richard grabbed the bagpipes and the music started to play! <laughs> oh ho ho ho! To Jim. And he went for the stagger. And the final hit. No! Oh! I always forget about Orange the- Orange team passed half. Yeah, so whenever Smo charges, he charges, gets near you, and then pulls his hammer back, and then swings. I always think he's gonna swing right away. It's actually a porn term. B, aggressive, B, E, aggressive. It's what the, uh, the producer just yells at the actors. Holy shit. That was a full beer. Okay, Kevin is an alien. He's keeping me here hostage. Save me now. Save me. I've been here for years. I'm like, <laughs> Honestly, it tastes fucking great. Okay, now let's get this fucking summon. Although only one, only one of those big things pop up there, so you could fight. That's Slythe again. As long as I fucking get to Man, last side. time you did this, Jim Duggan died. So if you're wondering what I was doing there, taking some anger management classes, and they say, when facing times of stress, you must remove yourself from the situation when you live in a van down by the river. So 
So I have a plastic cup, so when I squeeze it, it doesn't break into a million little pieces. So, Kevin, old buddy, old pal. All right, it's us and Slythe. Slythe, be the hero we deserve. Be the hero Jim Duggan deserves. Oh, man, that was tight. I thought you were going to Rocky end them. Like a Rocky 3 when they end with the double punch. Man, I missed the hot and foamy. It's not a bad beer. Hot and foamy tastes good. You heard it here first, folks. We just got a stagger and now we just... Get in there. Oh, Slythe! What the fuck just happened? I think Slythe hit him. As soon as he was coming down. That was awesome. Because I think that would have one-shotted you. Slythe's a real MVP. Holy shit, Slythe. I feel like we should start every episode with to Slythe. To Slythe? To Slythe. To, to Slythe. Slythe! Damn, dude! But yeah, he's... That's an amazing chest. Um, <laughs> yeah, he runs away with uh, Guinevere. And yeah. Damn. They get the nasty on. I'm interested in where they run away from. That's what I want out of Dark Souls 3. Follow up Dark Souls 1. Please, tell us what the fuck happened. Really. Okay, let's and fucking then, level, yeah. dude. Woo! Yeah, let's get... Holy shit, we actually get to level. This is amazing. Oh. Uh, let's, let's, let's pop something from the Spank yeah. Bank. The Spank Bank. I can't believe you named it that. Why? That's a nice name. She's got, she's got to spank it. Uh. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's how I spank it. Do we need... No, I think we're good. Uh. <laughs> we can use it like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> Perfect, so we get four levels. So, let's roll the die. Four times. Two. That's an entombment. Five. And then a... Uh, One. Dexterity. Sweet. Six. And then a resistance. So we get a little bit of resistance and up dex. Huh. We should really continue to upgrade our halberd. We got another attunement slot. We're to four now. That's sweet. Can I also show something that we can do now? Which is huge. We can fucking warp. We can warp between our three bonfires. Which is awesome. We can go all the way down to the of chaos right now. So our quest has already been completed, Kevin. Uh, we forgot to place the Lord Vessel. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, look at how magical that is. It's either you can or you can't. Yeah, like obviously you can't run through this guy's legs. Like, look at him, he's so close to the ground. Oh, crap. I'm also not used to two coming at once. Uh, tell me about it, dog. Tell me about it. Uh... Eh. Oh, the other guy's here. Oh crap! Whoa, camera, 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 camera! Fucking you! Should really buy your dinner before it fucks you like that. Yeah, that was ballsy, Kev. That was I know. really fucking ballsy. So yeah, the item is the uh, broken pendants. Why is it not here? Kevin? Kevin? <gasps> Just remember something. What? <sighs> you need to free. Um. Dusk before the item will drop off of that golem. So, in the next episode, we free Dusk! And then we get the item, and then we'll start the DLC. Onward and upward, my good chap. It's a slight. It's a slight. Night, guys.